Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Hardy Quest with Chapel Hill Quest for Arts and Ninja Every Day. And I want to take a few minutes to add something to this Hakatoshi Rambles section of the uh, YouTube channel. Another, a friend of mine asked another question that I thought would be great to address to multiple people. What if I feel like I've forgotten most of my martial arts after taking a couple of months off? You know, what do I do? The first thing is, is realize that everybody's in the same boat and take a deep breath and relax. When I uh, tore my ACL and had ACL surgery, there was six months where I couldn't do my normal training, couldn't get on the mat at all. Um, we're only uh, three months into this right now, so we've got a little bit of time. But at six months, it didn't destroy all of my knowledge. You know, the only thing that really that can destroy all of your martial arts knowledge is washing your belt. I'm just kidding. Wash your belt. If your belt is gross, please wash your belt. But you're going to be fine. You've got all these other things that you can practice on short of training with a partner. You can build your attributes that you need. You can, you can get stronger. You can get more flexible. You can get better balance. You can shadow box and pretend train all the stuff that, that you go through, all the stuff that you can do as a uh, solo practice. You can work on your meditation skills. Every martial artist, even, even jiu-jitsu or MMA martial artists, can benefit from a, a meditation practice. And that could just be a visualization of you doing your techniques, but you can totally benefit from that practice. Um, realize that probably at any given point in your martial arts career, you've only got a handful of techniques that you're really good at. You've only got uh, probably five or six what are often referred to as tokui waza or your favorite techniques. And those will change. Those will change throughout your career. You're gonna learn something new and you'll replace one with another. And um, the good news is, is after this pandemic, your tokui waza and your overall skill is gonna be built on the most solid possible foundation. Now you've got the time off that you've taken and it's going to it's going to get the stuff that you sort of sort of knew and the stuff that you were working on. It's going to sort of move it out and you're going to start back from this really solid foundation of stuff that you've fully ingrained, the stuff that you, you fully knew and could execute before the pandemic started. So there's a couple of things you can do daily practice wise to, to keep what you've got in your toolbox. Start some sort of daily practice preferably a shadow boxing practice, something where you're moving around. Now, if you're working out, you can shadow box or move around a little bit during your off times or your workouts in between sets and things like that. You can, um, you can get in and, and do your stand-up stuff and move around and practice. What do I do if, if something's, uh, somebody's throwing a punch at me or trying to choke me or hold me on the ground? Even if you're a, um, a sports martial arts practitioner, maybe just a jiu-jitsu practitioner, MMA practitioner, at a minimum, do a visualization practice. You know, close your eyes and sit and visualize yourself from a third party perspective, doing your techniques, visualize yourself from a first party point of view, a first person point of view, so that you can uh, see what it would look like to win. But the main rule is, is you've got to make sure that you win in these visualizations. You got to make sure that you're victorious, you're successful. It's not to say that it's bad to see yourself being successful in a really bad fight or really dire situation. That is important as well. You got to realize and, and uh, train your belief in your capability to overcome incredible odds. But we want to plug ourselves, prime ourselves in with with positivity, knowing that we can do it. We can be um, can be victorious. There's a meditation that we put up on the Chapel Hill Quest Martial Arts YouTube channel, and it's called the Dojo of the Mind. And you can literally go to that YouTube channel, turn it on, close your eyes and follow along. And I will talk you through visualizing your own dojo, your own training partner and give you an opportunity to drill your techniques in your head. And if you can see them clearly in your mind, the chances are physically you can probably employ those techniques really skillfully. If you can't see it very clearly in your mind, you can work on it and develop it and it will transfer into actual physical skill. Now, speaking of YouTube, we've got to take advantage of all of the digital training options that we have. YouTube is out there and it's free. I've got a list of my favorite YouTube channels that I'd like you to check out uh, to get you information on me. 
I'm a Toshindo or ninjutsu practitioner and a Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. I have dabbled. I did had some MMA fights. I played with some kickboxing and done some other stuff. But for me, this is what I'm looking for, uh, ninjutsu and jiu-jitsu. So these are my favorite YouTube channels, and I will put a, um, a, a, I will put a list of these in the description of the video. Number one, my jujitsu instructor, Roy Dean. Professor Roy Dean has an amazing YouTube channel. Go to that YouTube channel, spend a ton of time on it, watch everything that he's got up there. Number two, there's a, a YouTube channel called Yoga for BJJ. It's a subscription channel, but they have a lot of free, really awesome, valuable content. And it certainly helps me get myself loose and, and recover after workouts. And it's great because I don't have to come up with the practice. I can just plug it in and follow along. Number three, the CVBJJ online YouTube channel. That's the Coachella Valley Brazilian Jiu Jitsu School. Um, Professor Dean works with them, teaches out of their school, and they produce some amazing Jiu Jitsu content, some really, really amazing Jiu Jitsu content. I can't recommend them enough. Uh, there is a uh, YouTube channel called The Art of Skill. The Art of Skill is another of my Roy Dean uh, uh, team members. He has an amazing jujitsu site. It's worth checking out. You get lots of great techniques. And it's not just techniques, but sort of jujitsu concepts. There's one called Dubious Dom. I don't even know this guy's whole name, but again, Professor Dean pointed out some of his videos. And as I dug deeper into his sites, the way this guy sets up his videos, guides you through the um, guides you through the techniques and stuff is really artfully done, really well done. Uses lots of text and you know sort of show stuff, zoom in and come back out. So really, really great learning tool, not just an entertainment tool. Knight Jiu-Jitsu. Eli Knight's been making great Jiu-Jitsu videos as long as I've been watching Jiu-Jitsu videos. So check out Knight Jiu-Jitsu. For the Toshindo side of the thing. Stephen K. Hayes, my instructor, Anshu Stephen K. Hayes, has a YouTube channel. It's worth checking out. Got a lot of great videos up there. Three of my buddies from the uh, Ninja world have created a YouTube channel called Three Ronin. It's sort of a motivational channel right now as it stands, but it's a great one to check out. And then this site is, there's another site called Akban, A-K-B-A-N. This is a guy named Yoshi Sharif that is a um, ninjutsu practitioner out of uh, Israel, and he has a great reference video section. He's got some thoughts on training. He's got some techniques and some concepts that he teaches. But if there's a ninjutsu kata that you want to learn, you can type it in and you'll probably get the Akban version of it first. And it's a really great reference site as well. So those are several of the YouTube channels that I like to watch uh, for free. Again, I'll put a list in the uh, video in the uh, description below. Now there's a bunch of paid channels. There's a bunch of paid channels and page descriptions you could get. If you're like me, uh, you're serious martial artists, you probably have several of these already. Uh, the first one I would recommend is ninjaselfdefense.com. This again is Anshu Stephen K. Hayes' paid site, but it's the guide for Toshindo. It's Toshindo's online portal. Uh, it's got his stuff up there, great material. His wife, Anshu Rumiko, put some incredible material up there. The Toshindo Shihan Kai, the leadership team, Dennis Futoshi Mahoney, Mark Sintoshi Russo, James Kintoshi Norris all have a bunch of techniques up there. And they even let me put videos up there, believe it or not. They even let me put some stuff up. So ninjaselfdefense.com is one of my favorites. RoyDean.tv. Again, it's Professor Dean's paid site, but it's incredible. There's lots of martial meditations on it. There's lots of techniques in there. There's lots of concept videos, recorded seminars. And then one of my favorite things you can watch there and on his YouTube channel is the graduations and the tests that he puts his guys through. It's some of the most motivational jujitsu material that I've seen. Uh, and then, of course, finally, the ninjaeveryday.com. There's a Ninja Everyday YouTube channel, which you're watching now, so you're clearly already plugged into that. But NinjaEveryday.com has these videos, and it also has a section where we've got downloadable videos. Now, several of them are conditioning videos, workout videos that you can buy. They're very affordable. And then I've got several seminars recorded that I've hosted with my instructor, Anju Stephen Hayes, on some of the ninja world's most sought after information there's a series of ninja meditation sort of spiritual power development skills called the kuji and there's several types of these kuji practices and uh and we've got some 
breakdowns of how to how to think about how to view and begin in how to practice those on the ninja everyday.com and we got more stuff coming i've got two more workout uh videos that are coming up and we just got mr hayes to agree to do three more of these coochie talks where we dive deeply into the uh coochie in spirit building power lastly if you're like me don't forget all the books that you've bought over the years, you know, way before the uh, internet was what it was, way before YouTube was a resource, you probably bought a ton of martial arts books. And I see people now like getting rid of them. Don't get rid of those things. There's something special, something tangible about pulling that book out, going through, reading the words, hearing the author's thoughts. You know, sometimes we put words out in a different way. Um, when we write versus when we say, now I will agree as far as training goes, Video is by far a superior way to learn something, but your books are great. Check out those books. They can transfer lots of stuff and you'll see things in the pictures. You'll, you'll see things that inspired you to begin training early in your career. And it's important, especially now as we're challenged by this, to remember our training motivation. And if, you, if you're if you a long time martial arts practitioner like me, that training motivation goes way back and those books are going to spark some of those memories, going to spark some of those in energies to keep you going and keep you motivated. All right. That's enough talking for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss one of these when I do another of these Hakatoshi Ramble sections. Until next time, Ninja Every Day.